Light Sworn just got some terribly new powerful support, but how good does that make the deck? Big dog, I've been playing Light Sworn since the boomer days. I still got PTSD. The big three, the big three, Light Sworn, till I die, Gladiator Beast. The big three, it's just it's me. Today, not only will we be going over the new Light Sworn support and talking about how it makes the deck better, we'll also be testing it against some of the most powerful decks from Legacy of Destruction. And if you enjoy this type of content, you already know what to do, big dog. Like the video, comment down below, and buy the merch. Bro, we even got Battle of Twilight bats out. Oh my God! At thegalleyeffect.com. Let's go ahead and jump on in. The breakdown for Light Sworn is simple. This is a mill focused Yu Gi Oh deck that is built off of being able to send powerful cards to your graveyard and gain their effects. Basically, for you Zoomers, this deck is like Tier Lament, except cooler. And the new cards for Light Sworn do not disappoint. Dragon of Light Sworn can easily summon itself by having a Light Sworn monster in graveyard, and when it's sent to the graveyard, allows you to get monsters like Judgment Dragon or Punishment Dragon from your deck to your hand. Minerva, Light Sworn, Anthena prevents your Light Sworn monsters from being banished on the field, can send Light Sworn monsters with different types from your deck to the graveyard, up to the number of Light Sworn monsters used to summon herself, then can banish up to four Light Sworn monsters in your graveyard to send that many cards off the top of your deck to the graveyard. Weiss places a Light Sworn card from your hand to the top of your deck, then sends two cards off the top of your deck to summon itself, and when sent to the graveyard, can summon a Light Sworn. These new Light Sworn cards fix all of Light Sworn's traditionally old problems. They not only allow you to unbreak your hands when you have cards like Wolf and Felice, they also can manually send Light Sworn cards from your deck to the graveyard during your main phase, meaning you do not have to wait to the end of your turn. Light Sworn Aegis allows you to be able to target face up cards the opponent controls up to the number of Light Sworn monsters you control and negate their effects. Also, if it's ever sent from the deck to the graveyard, you set it to your side of the field. And the new monster, Enlightenment Dragon, is a game winner. It can only be special summoned by banishing both Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon. And then at the cost of 2,000 life points, it allows you to banish all cards in both players' fields and graveyard. Light Sworn got a ton of power and consistency with the new support. But how exactly would I build the deck in the preliminary stages? Well, it would be pretty simple. This Light Sworn deck is built on all of the strengths that the new cards give it, allowing you to be able to put light monsters into the graveyard, but more importantly, abusing tier limit cards still too. For some reason, Konami has not banned those, and those work really well with Light Sworns. Ironically, Light Sworn has always been a Gamba Pile Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You try to put as many consistently powerful cards inside of the deck as possible, and make some really good boards. I expect this deck to be able to make Baron to Floor and Bistil Disc Pattern in almost every single hand, especially since we can Synchro to 12 easily and use Crimson Track. The other cards like Heretic Seal, IP Mascarena, SP Little Knight, Opelousa, all come in particular situations. And ironically, because this deck does naturally play defensive and offensive cards, I think it's a solid deck going first or second, but let's go ahead and jump into some games to see how it works. All right, big dog, this is where it's at. I'm gonna go ahead and start off our game by summoning out Raiden and milling two cards. Both Weiss and Dragon Light Sword, baby. I'll add Judgment Dragon. I'll summon Dragon of Light Sword and use its effect. I'll send Felice to the graveyard, which means she comes right back. And now we synchro summon Minerva to be able to send two. What? This is gonna take some serious thought here. You think you may have stopped me, but I got another plan, dog. I'm summoning out Zombie Vampire. <laughs> I'll summon out Raiden from Zombie Vampire. And then we Synchro Summon. This is Amaterra. I'll add Perlino to my hand. <laughs> then we're gonna go even further. I'll add Shiren. I'll then summon out my girl Shiren by sending Felice Navidad. Let's go! But why solar recharges? Summon Felice. We're gonna put this to the bottom and then we get to draw a card. Why did I get rid of the Felice? Well then Synchro. Crimson. 
dispatter. I'll then dispatter out my dragonoid swoon. Exceed summoning to trusty girl when we have Aegis a guy on the field too strong. I'll detach. Send three mo. Oh, oh, oh. That means your boy get to draw it as the punishment. Dra That's not punishment dragon. That's a big girl. 3200 Apo. In face. I think it's a good idea to add the ball drake to my hand. That punishment dragon soon. Your move. So we know he's on snake eyes, but how strong will his combo be? Oh, all right. Oak. Yeah. Yeah, big dog, we're gonna go ahead and negate that. Also, my brand is regained. Summons out the kiss batter. That's actually an interesting card. It's a shame that I got the ages to negate it. Want it? I'll let that go through. Link off Oak to Link Karibo. Okay, I, I see where he's cooking here. And then discard the flame the urge. Oh no, chain blocking. I can't stop the flame beards, but I can stop the snake eyes at least. We we gonna oppo that. Bro, we are getting real estate with this Opelousa. It's 800 attack, but I'm telling you, it's, it got full negations, bro. Oh, wait. This oak can attack over my oppo now. Oak over Opelousa is criminal, my boy. All right, all right, all right. Look, Minerva, be a good girl and hit some light sworn cards. <laughs> Where were you earlier? Now he links into Celine? Oh, put as many counters as you want. <laughs> but oh, that makes perfect sense. He's cooking now. Dramatic Chase places a Diabelle star monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. That's crazy good. He can finally get this card going. Oh, he, he places this card. Oh, he's gonna oak it away? Summon Baldrake. I guess I'll place Wolf to the bottom. Free card. Search Wolf. Charge. Never in a million years I thought I'd charge for this card. He's probably laughing over there. Mill two. And uh, Wolf effect. Now I think he understands. All right, we'll synchro. Minerva. Little does he know he actually goofed here. I don't want the effect to send. I want the effect to banish. I got three cards left in my deck. Because now I get to summon the boy. Judgment Dragon effect. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Summon your monsters. Yeah, I don't think he knows, but um, I can just use its effect again. Then I can summon this. And then I can summon this. And we can attack for game. <laughs> Let's go! All right, <laughs> this hand's more like it. Chimera, you say? Okay, let's see him cook. All right, so it looks like he's gonna Chimera Fusion off the Big Queen Birth from it and the Gazelle. I love discarding cards, don't you? Now he gets a summon and a search. Ugh. Ooh, wait, hold on, he's playing new cards? Your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards that were not set. What? All right, that, that is kind of a problem. So now he summons out with Nightmare Apprentice. This can add an illusion monster from your deck to the hand. Crazy. I'm not gonna lie, he's cooking. Master of Tower effect. It's targeting bells. He's gonna try to summon the DML on me. Perfermit effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Magnumut here. I really need the solar recharge. We'll summon Magnumut and then use its effect. I wonder what that face down card is. And passes his turn. God damn it! Got rid of the solar recharge anyways. <laughs> At least I still get Magnumut. I'll add Sirenir. And now it's Brewski's time to shine. Let's go. I think I'll start off with Pirulino. I'll add Shiren to my hand. I'll then summon out Shiren, getting rid of Keldo. <laughs> I'll send three. Tear catch. I'll send two more. Let's go! Felice will summon herself. And Sirenir will send Lubelli in the grave. Oh, this one's tough. He's going to use Mirror Swords next year. Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is risky. But I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Sirenir. 
And now we'll synchro sub it. You won't see this one coming. Chaos Angel doing the Chaos Angel y things. He's gonna use the Chimera Fusion anyways. You're using it now? Okay, so he's gonna Chimera the Phantom Beast to summon a fiend monster in your graveyard. He's gonna target the barrier, so I'm gonna go ahead and bestial it. He must have forgot about this card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he summons out Chimera. Guardian Chimera? Typically birth from it? And the fusion! What are you getting with the fusion monster? Ain't no way, Keldo. I can return his cornfield Coral, Mirror Sword Knight. I guess this might not be a good idea though. So he loses those, he summons the barrier statue. Adding Sword Knight gets rid of my Felice and my Serenir? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I think he 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 kinda cooking right now. But fortunately, I got safer. I'll add Lubellion. Lubellion back to the graveyard. Adding Druid Swarm is Big Cook. I'll then use Druid Swarm. And I'm Dark Lock, so let's go to battle. Chaos Angel over the Chimera. Shiren over the Barrier Statue. And that's an Illusion Monster, so he's just gonna take damage here. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'll send the Druid Swarm to summon Lubellion. Ah, yes, a light sword monster in graveyard, and I'm not dark locked, finally. I'll special summon Dragon of Light using its effect. This card's crazy. Send a Felice, Let's bring her out. Let's synchro for 12. Crimson Dragon. Crimson effect will target the Chaos Angel, summon out this pattern, and <laughs> I'm gonna bring back the Magnemite. Magnemite effect, overlay, Minerva. I'll use Felice effect, we'll send three. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Not only do I get the draw card, I get my bad boy Weiss effect. And I get Dragon of Light Sword. I'll add Judgment Dragon to hand, and I'll summon back my buddy Felice. Now, quick links. Seal IP. All right, if he can break this board, he has to win because we got Judgment Dragon. Your move. And I even get Baldrake to my hand. i to use Portal, that's fine. Oh, Mirror Sword Knight's crazy if I didn't have regained to be able to summon out my dis... What, what did he just activate? Ain't no way! Bro, you got a trigger finger! We lose the painter, but we get regained. Bro? I realize I can't negate anything he does. Summons Gazelle. Chimera Fusion? One thing's for certain, we cannot let him get that Chimera Fusion. And he gets the Sin? And another Surge. Sends Master of Tao. I knew it! I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have returned that card. Master Tao effect. What's your target? Corn? What if my seal's right here? Mirror Sword? We still get our Heretic effect. Summon Dragon Light Swern and then use its effect. We'll send off Wolf, which means we get it to our field. And then we'll use IP, you goofy goofball. U plus U makes SP, SP1, Dragon 2. Let's go! Bro. I feel it. Light Sworn may be a lot better than what some people think. All right, so this opening end, you're cooked, my boy. He doesn't even know what's gonna hit him. I'm gonna go ahead and Dimension Shifter. I'm in danger. I'll special summon Finmer, use its effect, get another Finmer, and um, set, pass. I hate Dimension Shifter. Normal summon Sam Sarah D Lotus. You bell. So Lotus tributes itself to summon Spirit. Then Spirit effect, adding Nightmare Pain. Hold on, Bucko. I got an effect myself. Gosh, dear Fenrir. Not got a Nightmare Pain, you bell, on my watch. No, 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 no. What? Hold on, what does this do? When this card is activated, you can take one Fiend Monster with 0 0 from your deck and either add it to your hand or destroy it. What? Right. Destroy you, Bell? God! There's no way this deck got that much better. <laughs> I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Nightmare Pain? He's the, he had it anyways! He had the spirit anyways! He gets the internal favorite. He can summon a U-Bell or fuse my monsters. Then Spirit of U-Bell can summon, who would have guessed, his banished U-Bell. Well, at least he's still under Shifter. I, I think that's a problem. Ha, huh. Infernal Grave Squirmer. If you control a Fiend monster, you can special summon his card, then destroy one monster that is U-Bell or mentions it. Destroys Terra Incarnate. Terra Incarnate? 
Oh, that, that just summons the third level Yubel. Nightmare Throne, it got another effect? Once per turn, if a Yubel monster you control leaves the field, you can add one Yubel monster from your deck, graveyard, or banishment to your hand whose original level is one higher or one lower, then you can special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. Ain't no way. All right, he adds in summon spirit of Yubel, and then he summons out ultimate nightmare. He actually plays it. I'm cooked! Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. What, what, is, what, what is the name of this card? Deconalalog Valdroth. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can detach one material, negate the activation, then detach one material, destroy one card on the field. Oh, so it's Barone. So I take 2,400 plus Nightmare Pain. It's 4,800. That's encouraging. And I lose my Fenrir. He attacks with that. And at the start of the damage step, if this card would XC material attacks, you can destroy one card on the field. That's crazy. So I'm just going to take the full 3,000. All right. All right. Who, who knew that Yubu was broken? Who would have guessed? Here's where you goofed off, buddy. I may have lost both of my cards to the Banished Realm, but I get a whole turn, and 200 life points is all I need to win the game. Draw! Monster Kudu! All right, this is where I come back here. Standby phase, main phase, no more Dimension Shifter. I'll summon out Finmer and use its effect. Huh, he's gonna detach to negate and destroy. Okay, that, that that's actually smart. Charge of the Light Brigade. I'll mill three cards. That, that's not what I wanted to say. I'm broken, desperate, guys. I'm at Dragon of Light Sworn. I'll use Lubellion. I'll add Magnumut. Hey, it's time to start picking on you. I'm then going to use my Bestial Magnumut. I'm going to banish you, you bell. How you like that? Huh? How you like that? And Magnumut effect. What? Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. All right, so my overall thoughts on Light Swarm. The pros, Konami actually did something correct. They fixed all of Light Swarm's problems, seeming indefinitely. Never in the history of Light Swarm's history would I ever be happy to see cards like Wolf and Felice into my hand, but now with cards like Weiss, it is a delight. Also, it still is thematic. You can still summon monsters like Punishment Dragon and Judgment Dragon. It has not lost its core functions. It feels like a modernized version of what Light Swarm used to be. It's not like your Earth Derp combo decks that kind of predetermine what they want to do, and that's it. But the cons. Light Swarm is genuine Gamba. The deck does have a hard counters. And just because I don't mind seeing my bricks like Wolf and Felice, if I don't have the correct combo pieces, they genuinely are bricks. You don't want to see them. My overall grade for Light Swarm would be a B. I think that this deck is strong enough to be able to compete at the regional level, but the upside is that the more graveyard reliant cards that Konami releases, the stronger that this deck can become. Make no mistake, guys, if your 30 year old boomer top player at your locals is playing this deck, it's not because of nostalgia. This deck is genuinely good. But that's all that I got for Light Swarm. This deck has crazy amounts of potential. Let me know what you guys think about the deck. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this, you already know what to do. Be sure to check out these so I can catch you on the next one.